hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be doing a blunt cut bob tutorial and i'm gonna walk you guys through all the steps i take to get that bob so first things first you got to make sure that all of your hair is completely straight so we do this so there's no lumps and bumps and if you cut on wavy or curly hair it'll come out differently when you do straighten it we also want to make sure that when we're using our tripod, it's in the upright position and it's completely straight up just so that there's no tilts in it so we don't cut uneven. You also want to ensure that your head is the right size so that the wig is laying flush on it just so that there's no like extra pulling or bunching so that the cut looks weird once you put it on your client's. For supplies, we're going pretty simple. All you're going to need is a fine tooth parting comb, hair cutting shears just for cleanup, and some clippers. I'm using the Andis ones. They're linked in my Amazon store. So jumping right in, the first thing you want to do is clip up the hair. I like to go one to two tracks at a time, depending on how thick my wefts are, just so that I can have the most control. From yourself. And then I also like to go ahead and take some T-pins and make sure the wig is pulled Be like flush with okay so this is how much you want parted out rock tail corn here and this is the first cut you make so this is going to be the shortest cut you make so you want to look where you want the shortest layer to fall and that's where you're going to cut so for this one i would like the shortest layer to be about maybe like a half an inch lower than the actual head. So I'm gonna hold it where I want it. So I want it about here, right? I also do like to cut a little bit lower than I think I want to, just because you can always cut more, but you can never add on hair. So you're gonna wanna cut a little bit lower than where you want it. So say I want it right here, I'll cut right down here. But and then the first cut you can either do with this or with your scissors. But I'm of course going to be doing it with this. And if you're wondering how to use these things, you just flick it on. Not too sure what this does. Honestly, I'm not a barber, so I am not sure what it does. I want it to be and then hold it. It's just more comfortable. And then I'll go ahead and cut. Get a nice even blunt cut so once I've done that I like to go ahead and straighten it up a little bit I don't bump it yet slightly like the slightest bit because you need to know where this length is in order for the next cuts and then any hairs that you didn't get you just go Close as possible that you can get to like this area that's the first cut and then i'm gonna take two tracks up mine are single single and a half wefted so if you have double wefted i would just go track by track especially if you just started and when you're closer to the bottom just so this this is your foundation for the whole cut so you want to make sure that it's good this is where it gets fun so you know where you've cut underneath so you can kind of see it let's where you see it so here you've cut underneath to about here you want to go an inch down or a half an inch down when you're at the back it's fine to do like a like a half an inch just do like say this much more i say an inch but like like a centimeter do like a centimeter lower um and then as you go up every single section you're going to want to do a centimeter lower so this is why this is your foundation cut so this is going to show how long or short this bob is going to really be so this bob is going to be about here the thing is when you put the wig on your head it it moves to where your head is so when it comes longer 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 depending on how long your neck is and depending on where your shoulders fall, it will look different on different people. That's why I like to do it this way. Also, if you have a bob that you don't cut this way and you just cut it all at once, these bottom pieces will be a lot longer 
than the pieces at the top because the top pieces are what you're cutting first these ones are being cut last so they're gonna stick up and stick out and it's gonna be super bunchy and uneven at the back so you don't want to cut it all at once that that's the reason why you don't do that unless the hair is super thin and you can really see it so this is about where that hair falls so right here is where most of my hair is that i've cut so i'm gonna go in in smaller sections to this time so you're gonna find out where the hair ends you can feel it so i can feel that right here is where it ends out the piece that you want to cut and you're going to grab your handy dangle clippers so i like to go to where it ends and then have my fingers there and cut right there just so that i can see okay. so you've cut it so now you can see where you want to cut it and then you can either follow this line or do the same thing all around. I like to follow the line so it's all kind of even with where I cut. So now, let me go in and fix up because I want it to be a little bit shorter. Oh. And if you're doing a more like, you want it to be kind of angled like this, you can make the front a little bit longer and taper in at the back, kind of like a V. But if you want it to just be blunt, don't do that. <laughs> That's all. You want to measure down to where you cut it so you can see underneath you cut it there and then cut like say an inch low. So comb out the hair. And once you've cut a piece here, you can just follow it all the way around. So I like to take a piece here like this so I can see right here where I've cut and I will follow that line and with the clippers it's super easy to do so you take this and you can follow the line I like to work in smaller sections too so take it and follow that line and then in between I'll like comb it out and make sure everything is located you know how I want it to look and then you see where that one the last one was and then you cut. And make sure the hair is all going straight down. If it's bunched up, of course, it's going to mess up your cut. So make sure it's all going straight down. And then I will go back in and take it all and straighten it all and make sure everything is super nice and lined up. Not like super bumping it but kind of curving it under because that's how I want to style it anyways and this makes it faster for when you do go ahead and style it because you don't have to go and bump the whole thing everything's gonna be perfectly bumped because you did it before you did it before so we can see where it's been cut before we want to make sure everything is lined up so we're gonna go up to where it's been cut so that's about here. So it's cut a little bit below. So it's cut here. I'm gonna cut right here. Right there. there so we've cut right there. So now you can see right here is cut and it's looking great and then you can just go ahead and follow this line all the way around so we're gonna cut follow all the way around so this is what's giving so far so you can see it's not okay let, let me show you this when you comb it sideways like this, you can see if there's any uneven parts. So you want it to just look like it's all just cutting in like that, right? And then also, I like to flick it so I can see if somebody moves, what it's going to look like. And then when you're done also, I like to tip it forward so I can see like, okay, from here, this is what I'm seeing. It's all coming one, so at one point. 
that's what I like to see. It's all pretty much covered. You may see a little, little bit because certain angles you just can't like. It's a lot. Okay, it's cut. But as long as it's not like okay, so you can see what I'm saying. Like if the hair is like this up here, then you have a problem. But it's fine, right? So look how nice it looks like. There's a table under it. That's wonderful. That's great. Love that. This is why I like bobs. Bobs used to really stress me out. Like that. They used to really stress me out. I hated cutting them. But now I actually really do like them. Especially this jet black. Oh, yes, man. Love it. Again, like a split ends lower. So this is where I cut the first time. This is where I'm cutting this time. Like, super close. And you likely won't have to cut all the way around because the hairs will just be short enough. It's just a little bit. Now you want to look at the front and make sure the logo lines up so you can see this length is a little bit lower. You want to make sure it lines up. Awesome. Good. And the test I'm talking about is when you tilt it like this, and it still looks like a bob. And it's not all frayed. So let me try and make it look like it would be frayed. Okay, so like, okay, I can't. I can't even do it. <laughs> but you see what I would be saying? Like, if this hair was all short and choppy at the back, like, I'm sure if you've tried to cut a bob by yourself, it kind of failed. I've seen it, because I've done it before. For sure. But this is our little test and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it helped you guys learn how to cut a bob this does take some practice so don't beat yourself up if you're not getting it the first try but as always like comment share and subscribe for more see you guys